Okay, so I just stopped our training for a bit of a cuddle because you're so, you're so cuddly. Maybe because the other horses are a little bit bored if they take. Oh, yes. Ooh, neck scratches. Yeah, neck scratches. This is me and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd do a video all about Duke because you guys have requested this so much. You're always asking for Duke updates. So um, we're not where we usually are. We're actually in the arena today. And that's because we currently have the electricians finishing off the new tack room. So the yard is a little bit busy. So I thought this would be a really good training day for Duke because I've just put up some baler twine here. So I thought it's a new place for him. Of course, he's actually, he's like been in the arena and things before but not that much I've never groomed him before um, obviously I've done a lot of work with him of getting him to stand still while I'm grooming him so today's gonna be a bit of a test because we're doing it here in the arena so I've got my grooming bag all set up um, so I'm gonna go and grab his head collar now um, take him here and give him a big old groom um, but his head collar is starting to get a little smaller a little too small for him now so i'm going to try on his bigger one see which one fits best i don't know if we if it will be quite time for the big one yet but let's see all right so i'm now here with duke and i have both of the head collars this is the first one we got i think this is like a, a large foal or like a medium foal sized head collar and this is his current one it is absolutely diddy. It is a small foal head collar that's even smaller than Shetland because he's a smaller head than a Shetland because he's like a, a mini Welshie. That's what I call him. But anyway, um, I'm going to try the bigger one on today, see if he has grown, if it's going to fit him. I have a feeling it might be a tiny bit too big, so it might not be today, but let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, Pookie. Yeah, I think today it's just going to be a bit too big. Just a bit too big. I mean, I could put some hole punches in it, but that's like on the smallest one and there's all this strap and there's all this strap here. <laughs> so I'm going to have to take this off you, Duke, because it's still still too big for your small little head. Should I put it on? Put it on. There we go. It's just this strap that's getting a little, a little small on you. We need like a, an in-between one, like a Goldilocks and the Three Bears head collar. Yes. You're just so busy eating. Oh, <gasps> head scratchies, head scratchies. Yeah, head scratchies. Ear scratchies, yeah. Oh, no ear scratchies. Behind the ear scratchies though. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Oh, those ear scratches are so good. Yeah, am I getting a little itchy spot? Oh, what about belly scratches? Belly scratches? Ooh, neck scratches. Yeah, neck scratches. Yeah, they're your favourite. Are they your favourite? Oh, we love them. It's all about the chest, the chest scratches. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm, yeah. You love it. You love it. As much as I would love to give Duke scratches all day, these little guys are such time wasters. I could be in this field all day long. Um, I should probably take him over to the arena now, give him a groom because he's looking absolutely filthy. Him and Mickey, every morning, first thing they do when they go out in the field, they both roll together. And honestly, since we've got Duke, Mickey has been so happy. It warms my heart. These two are just the best of friends. A lot of people have asked me if I'm gonna be putting them, all like all four horses together in one field. And I think Mickey's enjoying the quieter life now he's an older horse um, with Duke. And I think they're just really happy in two little pairs. I think it might be a little bit wild having all four in one field, never say never. But I think for now, Duke's really settled in. He's doing really well um, just being with Mickey and I wouldn't want to disrupt that because he has just like finally settled. But anyway, before this very fluffy dude like demolishes the whole field because as you can see, this boy does not stop eating all day long 
all he does is eat, so I'm gonna grab him now. And I can finally get you looking a little bit cleaner, hey, Duke? You're so grubby. Ricky, <laughs> are you in the way? Yes. Okay, Duke, here you come. Good boy. All right, so I'm now here in the arena and um, I forgot that the other side of the arena is loads of grass. So Duke is in absolute heaven right now, eating all of the luscious greenest grass on the other side. Don't worry, not for long because this boy um, is, a, he's, I'm saying he's fluffy. We are gonna actually get the weigh tape on him today. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a, little bit of a health checkup, see how he's doing. Cause obviously he has, I think he's grown like a tiny bit. World Health Welfare did say when we got him that he was like 95% fully grown. So he's probably gonna like grow to like there. So not that much more. Um, but also he's got, he's got way fluffier. Like look how fluffy he is. If I put my hand in, like it almost disappears into all of his fluff. Um, talking about being warm, the sun has suddenly come out. It's what I, this morning I woke up and the cold hit me when I came out of my loft. It was absolutely freezing, so I properly layered up. And now as the day's gone on, the sun is coming out and I'm actually getting quite warm now. So I'm gonna take my jacket off. He doesn't mind the rattly rustle, rustle noise. No, but also you can see I have the new Duke merch on, of course, you know, could not leave the fourth member of the herd out so i just love how cute it is look you can even see his like big forelock on fluffy mane it's so cute hey so cute we can't even see your face it's just absolutely devouring my grass that's duke for you he is mr food orientated yes so duke's just managed to get his whole head through the arena fence that is how tiny his little head is. Oh my goodness, please do not get stuck. Please, okay, Duke, out, out, out. There we go. So I'm, oh, you're okay. Oh, he's just, oh, he's just spotted Toby. I don't know if you can see all the way up there, Toby is on the mound having some grass. And I don't know if Duke's properly seen the donkeys before because they're quite far away, they're paddocks. So he's having a proper stare down. It's okay, baby, I'll give you a groom. My goodness, I cannot believe how many bits of shavings I've found in his tail. So it really goes to show that he's been enjoying his new bedroom or his new stable. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, please check it out because, oh my goodness, it was so cute when he first went in his new stable. But anyway, from that night, he has been lying in there every night because every day he comes back with shavings all in his tail. So I think he's settling in really well. Obviously grooming him like this not only is good to um, check him over, make sure that he doesn't have any lumps and bumps or any nasties on him. And um, so far he's been doing really well. You can also see he, uh, when we first got him, um, or before we got him, he actually scratched out a bit of his tail. Um, so that's actually growing back. I am so happy that it's growing back dark because uh, it goes to show there's still some hope that he's not going to go completely like white out anytime soon. Of course, I know he's a gray, but look, he looks so dark on his butt until you lift it up and you can see all the like new hairs coming through all white. And it's, it's, it's a sad moment for all grey owners. I think he's, he's going to look so, so different when he's older. Obviously, he's only like one and a bit, so he's still very, very young. Um, but all this grooming as well is very good for like handling with him because this is obviously all very new. I haven't done too much with him because he's young, he's a baby. I want him to still be a baby and just enjoy being a baby. Um, this is also good to like, you know, get him used to the horse life, obviously. Um, he's a, I rehomed him from World Horse Welfare, so um, he's been handled by humans his, pretty much his whole life apart from when he was abandoned. So um, he loves humans and <laughs> that's very good. But um, we also do a lot of groundwork together for like personal space reasons because um, a lot of smaller ponies, people aren't um, sort of strict enough with them if that makes sense because they're small they think they can get away with it and we don't want him to be one of those little ponies that um, 
go around terrorizing everybody <laughs> if you know what i mean but oh my goodness this towel is looking so much better now look at that it's so silky smooth and soft to think like he had like a million pine needles and shavings and leaves in here that is so satisfying okay i think it's time to do his mane next because that also is so long and thick and takes forever to brush through oh that was a lot of dust it was still so dusty obviously I want to not brush him too much because, you know, he's a field kept pony. He needs to keep all the natural oils in, but a bit of a groom every now and then is good. Hey, oh my goodness. You probably need a proper full on bath at some stage, mister. Look at all that dust. Ooh. So this is probably the most tricky part of Duke's training and that's getting him to stand for a long period of time while I talk to the camera, which is probably something that not most horses have to learn um, because he is kind of like a YouTube horse. Um, but I guess most horses do have to learn to stand and wait and be patient. Um, so for a baby, this is quite boring. Um, but the plan for now is to do some handling training with him. So we're gonna do lots of walking, asking him to halt when I want him to halt and asking him to walk on when I want him to walk on. I also have my stick here that I call my tickling stick because um, when I had my handling day or training day with the Wild Horse welfare the second time I met him this is what they use because sometimes Duke can be a little unsure about walking forward especially when he's in new places so what I do is I use this as a <laughs> Duke you cannot eat the tickling stick Duke no Duke <laughs> and as you can see babies love to chew on things um, so this just helps me um, I give him a little tickle under his tummy and that helps him walk forward nothing nasty um, hopefully one day when he's older he won't need it at all which will be great um, but it just helps as a little accentuate of my aid yes yes Anyway, um, also look how fluffy his forelock and his mane is. Um, I always find when I brush it out, it looks so cute. Right now he wants to give me lots of kisses, but should we go and do some training now? Yes, wouldn't that be good? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Duke, walk on, walk on. There we go, just a little tickle needed. Good boy. Walk on. Handstand. Good boy. And walk on. No. Don't lean on me. Good boy. Handstand. Good boy. And then walk on. Good boy. Well done. Good thing. Woo! Okay, and walk. And drive on. Good boy! And walk. Good boy! Look at that little run! And walk. You see it? Up. Good boy! Again. Walk on. Up. Good baby! Okay. Walk on. Walk on. Good boy! And walk on. Good boy! Well done and stand. Oh, what a good boy! You've cracked poles! What a good baby! You're so good, was that fun? Okay, so I've just stopped our training for a bit of a cuddle because you're so, you're so cuddly, you're so cuddly. Yes, I know you want to give me kisses, but you can't shove your face in everybody else's faces because they might not like that, okay? All right, Duke, as you haven't really met him properly before, should we go and see Toby? Yeah, should we go and see Toby? Would that be good? Good boy. This is Toby. You want to say hi? He's a bit higher up than you because he's on a mound, but I think you are quite a bit smaller than him. Yeah, hi, Toby. What do you think of Duke? Yeah? You can't really come down any lower because it's a bit steep. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you later. Okay, come on, Duke. Walk on. Oh, what a good boy. He walked on straight away. You're learning. Oh, Toby, are you following us? That's so cute. Aww. Should we go and say hi to Bruno and Willow as well? Would you like that, Duke? Yeah? All right, Duke, we are breaking free because Gonna go for a little walk in the garden. You up for that? Good boy. Walk on. 
Oh, well done. Look at all this long grass. Unfortunately, you cannot eat this because we don't want you to get laminitis. Oh, sorry, mate. You went a bit fast down there. Where are we? Should we go say hi to the donks? Should we go say hi to Willow? Wow, isn't that cute? Hi, Willie. Okay, that is electrified. That is electrified. <laughs> I'm trying to like hold his nose away so he doesn't get stung because that wouldn't be a very good, no, that wouldn't be a very good instruction to the donkeys. Oh, hi Willie. All right, so I've just finished doing some training with Duke. Obviously we didn't do much. He's still a baby. It's just getting him used to the swing of things. We did poles for the first time today and he was so good. At first he was a little unsure, but he really got it in the end. So um, you never know. A lot of people ask me what I plan to do with him. Honestly, he's a baby. Like I'd just be happy even if he was just a companion for Mickey. Um, we'll see what he likes when he's older. Obviously he's only like one and a few months old. Like he's He'll be two in the spring. But, um, so he's got a long, long way ahead until I think at all about that, you know. I ha I've had a little thought, like I could do um, in hand, like mini pony agility, that could be quite fun. Or I could do liberty with him and teach him some tr um, tricks and things. That could be really cute. Or um, I could get him a little carriage and he could be a carriage driving horse. Or he could do like the, um, at Hickstead, they have all the um, little ponies that do the scurries. Like would I probably have to get him like a little friend if I really wanted to do that. But obviously this is way, way ahead, like in like five years time or whatever. Cause you are still so young, but um, I just thought that was a really good exercise to do. Um, I think, you know, especially young horses like him, it's good to have a good start in life um, for them to have ground manners and to be able to stop when you ask them to stop or walk on when you ask them to walk on. I thought, you know, adding the poles is a little bit different. It's not too um, strenuous for him, but it is something new that can incorporate into his routine. They can be like, okay, this is different. Something that's different doesn't have to be scary. And it shows that he really trusts me, which is lovely because, you know, he walked over the scary thing, the scary poles. He's being so good as well, just standing here while I'm talking, like Duke. He's really starting to grow up, to be honest. We had a photo shoot with Pony Mag not that long ago, and he was probably the best horse out of all of them. He really took it in his stride. He absolutely loved the camera, put his ears forward for everything. Maybe because the other horses are a little bit bored of photo. <coughs> oh, yes. Okay. Well, okay, stand. Good boy. And then walk on. Should we take you back soon? You're missing Mickey. Yeah. Before I got interrupted by this guy squealing, really high pitch, yes you are. Um, the next thing I need to do today is give him a little bit of a health check, a bit of a weight check, see how he's doing. Obviously he looks bigger because he's got about three or four inches of fluff all on him, um, but it's really important to check things such as making sure that I can still just about feel his ribs, have a little feel of his neck that's definitely got a little bit bigger, but nothing too drastic. Having a look at his bum, um, making sure that it's a nice C curve and not like an M where you can see sort of the fatty crests. Um, he's a little tiny bit overweight at the moment, just a little bit, but I'm not too mad about it because we are going into winter. A lot of horses do get a bit fatter this time of year. Um, he lives on pretty much nothing. You would have seen his field. It has like barely any grass. Um, he's not supposed to have lots of long luscious grass. So the little bit that he had today is definitely a bit of a treat. Um, but to be fair, we have done some handling and exercising. So he's been very good at that. Uh, so I can't be too mad, but we've got to keep you on your strict diet and make sure you don't get too chunky little one, okay? So um, I'm gonna put him back in the field now with Mickey. Also, I might get the weigh tape on him first, have a little um, weigh of that around his tummy. And um, we also have some new mats as well to go in their field shelter. So I might actually set that up today as well, cause that'll be fun. You can have a little look at those, see what you think to them. But anyway, I don't want to do too much with him today because obviously this is all very new. It's a lot. He's been so good at standing still here. He's still young and, you know, it's important that he has his time being a horse. We don't do this every day. Um, he literally just like lives out on the field having his best life. Yeah. So should we put you back to Mickey? Okay, say hi to Mick. Good boy. Mwah. Well done. Mick, are you ready to be free? Off you go. You can go to Mick's now. Oh, you want to stay here? You want to stay here? You're too cute. Okay. See you later. Oh, he's coming over. 
Okay, Duke, I need to get through. This is a wheelbarrow and that is some shavings. We're gonna have to go around you. Don't eat it, don't. Don't eat it. Duke, can I come through? I'm coming through. Back, back. Coming through. Back, back. Wheelbarrow. Yeah, okay. Lift it over. I need to clean up your poop. Yes. Now, I know it's your poo because it's abs oh, You cannot eat it. Back. You cannot eat it. I've got my eye on you, mister. I've got my eye on you. Now, I know this poo in here is yours because it's tiddly. Duke. I'm gonna have to take this in here, okay. Out of the way. Oh, look, there's an electric fence in front of that. You cannot reach it. This is your poo. I'm putting it away. Oh, don't sniff, don't sniff the fork. That's gross. That's nasty. So I've just taken all of the poo that there was actually only one out of uh, Mickey and Duke's field shelter because the plan is now to put down their mats and then put down some shavings because although they do have their like proper stables during the day when they're out here Mickey actually loves standing in here and just watching the world go by especially if it's raining. Duke on the other hand he likes to use it as a toilet maybe not so much as a shelter he's a little bit more uh, wild he doesn't care about the rain he doesn't care that he doesn't even have a rug on because his uh, coat's pretty waterproof and he just lives the bog pony life. But anyway, I'm gonna try and make it in here really nice because also I don't want it to get too muddy and things. So I thought the mats would help with that because uh, over here we're on, we're on uh, clay and clay gets very boggy and very muddy and it's not fun. But anyway, I'm now gonna lug all the mats, put them in here, not really looking forward to it because they are just so heavy. One down, many, many more to go. The mats are now in and while I was doing, I'm not gonna lie, Mickey and Duke did pay me a visit a few times. So there's lots of muddy hoof prints on the mats now. Um, but the next thing I need to do is put in the shavings and this is probably gonna be the most satisfying part. Moving around, obviously they're not gonna be like sleeping here at night, but it just, it just makes it a little bit more cozier in here and I think they'll like it. So uh, I'm gonna go and grab that now, put it down. I think it's gonna look really good. What do you think to the shavings? What do you think? Oh, well guys, I think Duke likes the shavings. Obviously there's not loads in here because you know, they're not sleeping here. They're not really gonna be lying down in here much. Okay, you're gonna have a wee or something. Do you wanna take your head cup? Oh, Duke, of course he had to go and wee on the brand new shavings. Every horse, every horse does that. But anyway guys, I think I'm gonna finish off today's video here. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And Mickey is coming in as well. We've got the, we've got the whole gang here now, guys. Um, I think, you know, they're gonna like it in here now, especially the shavings. Mickey, you're blocking the camera. I'm gonna say bye now. Bye guys, <laughs> bye. Good boy.